The United States Constitution entrusts the United States Senate with one of our democracy's most important obligations to, quote, advise and consent, unquote, to judicial nominations. Yet today, almost half of all Americans, 133 million citizens of our great country, live in districts or circuits that have a vacancy due to the inaction, the inaction of members of this body. We have an opportunity today to take seriously our responsibility to do something about that and take one significant step by voting to confirm Jeffrey Helmick to serve as the United States District Court Judge. President Obama nominated Mr. Helmick to serve on the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of Ohio on May 11, 2011. Based on a bipartisan commission's recommendation, based on my own judgment, I had no hesitation whatsoever in suggesting Jeffrey Helmick's name to President Obama. Let me tell you about our selection process. In 2009, then Senator George Voinovich, a Republican, and I assembled a bipartisan commission of distinguished Ohioans in the legal community. The commission included a former attorney general of Ohio, a law, sc couple, law school deans, other, accomplishment, other accomplished Ohioans. In order to avoid any conflicts of interest, leading legal professionals from the Southern District of the state, Ohio is a Northern District, which includes Toledo, Akron, Canton, Youngstown, Cleveland, in a Southern District, including Columbus, Dayton, Cincinnati, and other communities. Leading legal professionals from the Southern District of the state reviewed nominations for vacant judgeships in the Northern District and vice versa. The members of the Bipartisan Commission, and they were each of these commissions, the Northern and Southern Districts, were almost exactly half Republican, half Democratic, one slightly more Republican, one slightly more Democratic. The members of this commission spent a substantial amount of time, as they have on previous judges in the process we set up, screening, and interviewing, and discussing the candidates. At the end of this process, they selected Jeffrey Helmick, a native of Toledo, to be the nominee for his judicial vacancy. They gave me three highly qualified names um, suggesting that I interview them, which was part of the process. Uh, I then, with their advice and consent, if you will, sp after speaking with almost every one of the 17 members of the committee, personally, on the phone or in person, uh, I chose to send Jeffrey Helmick, a native of Toledo, to be the nominee for this judicial vacancy. Mr. Helmick continues to live in the town he grew up in, Toledo. He lives there with his wife, Karen, an attorney also, and their son, Joel. Each of the 17 members of this commission I spoke with was impressed by Jeff's thoughtfulness, his temperament. I, I, I might have erred there. I spoke I might have spoken with 15 or 16. There were one or two that were on vacation I didn't reach, but I want to be precise. Each of the members of the commission I spoke to, and that was at least 15 of the 17, was impressed by Jeff's thoughtfulness, his temperament, his extraordinary reputation among his peers, even among opposing counsel, people who had oppo opposed him in a judicial proceeding. The chair of the commission, Nancy Rogers, former dean of the Ohio State University Law School, um, the Morris School of Law, former Attorney General of Ohio, said of Jeff, quote, he's shown a commitment to integrity and to excellence and a dedication to his community and to the administration of justice. Helmick not only has the support of this bipartisan selection committee, again, jointly selected by Senator Voinovich, a Republican, and by me, a Democrat, he has the support of the larger legal community, including all of the federal judges that he will serve beside at the federal courthouse in Toledo. United States District Court Judge Jack Zuhari, nominated by President George W. Bush, has been a judge in the Northern District since 2006. He currently is the sole active judge in the of the court in the Western Division, that's the Western Division of the Northern District in Ohio, and will be working most closely with this new judge, we hope. Judge Zuhari wrote to this committee recommending Jeff Helmick's expedient confirmation, and for some time, Judge Zuhari has asked the United States Senate to move forward on this confirmation. He wrote, quote, you'll find no better candidate than Jeff Helmick. He possesses the intelligence, the passion for our justice system, and the necessary temperament and people skills to be an outstanding district court judge, unquote. If that weren't enough, he also said, in the private practice, Lawyers are able to choose their partners. Federal judges don't have such a luxury. We must work with whomever you confirm. And he wrote, I would be thrilled to have Jeff as my partner on the bench. 
Ohio State Senator Mark Wagner, a Republican, represents much of that area in, in the state legislature of the Western, Western Division of the court. He's a state senator. He's chair of the Ohio State Senate Judiciary Committee, a longtime member of the Toledo Bar Association. State Senator Wagner recommends Jeff for this position. Again, State Senator Wagner, a Republican, said, Jeff, Jeff is someone, quote, who st has stood for principles, litigated honestly, ably defended our constitutional system of government. He's held in very high esteem by the local bar. His support crosses partisan lines, unquote. The Bipartisan Selection Committee, again, which former Senator Voinovich and I convened, did its job well, Madam President. Today, we must do our job. Jeff Helmick understands the needs and challenges facing the Northern District of Ohio and our legal system generally. Rising costs of litigation, increasing size and scope of court dockets together pose numerous challenges to any system of justice. But it's because of his experiences and respect from fellow lawyers and judges he's worked with that he's well prepared to meet these challenges. He's a courtroom innovator, having worked with the courts to integrate cutting edge technologies into courtrooms to ensure that the administration of justice is efficient and equal and fair and open to all who seek it. I'm not a lawyer, Madam President, but that's what lawyering and the judicial system should, all, should be all about. Outside the courtroom, Jeff Helmick is equally dedicated to serving the public, a supporter of pro bono service. He volunteers the Maumee Valley Criminal Defense Lawyers Association to improve the professionalism of lawyers and access to justice for the underserved. He's past president of the Pembers, Pembersville Boys Ranch. It helps troubled young men who need a home or safer environment to reach their potential. Jeff Helmick will make an outstanding judge in the U.S. District Court for Ohio's Northern District. I agree with Judge Suhari, Judge Suhari, I'm sorry, that quote, we will find no better candidate than Jeff. Again, Judge Suhari was a George W. Bush appointment. That's why I urge my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to confirm Jeff Helmick today. The snail pace with which we've been moving on judicial nominations threatens to delay for far too many, to delay justice for far too many Americans. Right now, 15 nominations reported favorably by the Judicial Committee will wait, well, the Judiciary Committee will wait or waiting a Senate confirmation vote. Right now, nearly one in 10 federal judgeships is vacant. Earlier this year, the nonpartisan administrative office of the courts, the nonpartisan agency charged with running our federal district courts, declared a judicial emergency for Ohio's Northern District. We need to act right now, right now, today, to confirm Jeffrey Helmick. People of Ohio have waited for too long. The result is that litigants in the Northern District of Ohio are experiencing delays in having their cases resolved. In too many cases, justice deferred can be justice denied. In June of 2010, U.S. District Judge James Carr took senior status, creating a vacancy in Toledo's federal courthouse, June 2010, almost precisely two years ago. For these two years, Jeffrey Helmick, who enjoys, for, for most of two years, I spoke with him in August, if my memory is correct, saying I wanted to send his name to the president, telling him the delay may be several months, maybe even a year, never dreaming that partisanship in this body would mean the delay was two years. For two years, for these almost two years, Jeffrey Helmick, who enjoys, again, the enthusiastic support of federal judges appointed by presidents of both parties in Toledo, enjoys the bipartisan support of me and of Senator Portman, a Republican from Ohio. For these two years, Jeff Helmick's had his nomination placed on hold at enormous political cost. Helmick is not an enormous cost in many ways. Justice denied, just justice delayed, justice denied. Helmick is not a partner at some big law firm where others can help with help him or help with or help take over his cases. Instead, he's at a small firm. He's at a small firm where the clients are his own. As a result, his practice and his clients have been placed in limbo, not knowing when he will be nominated, when he will, be, when he will actually be confirmed. Now, some two years later, we can finally ensure that the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of Ohio finally, finally has its longstanding vacancy filled. Today, we can confirm Judge Helmick Jeffrey Helmick as a judge, a brilliant and distinguished lawyer who was nominated by the Bipartisan Commission, whose members, again, were appointed by former Senator George Voinovich and me. And we must confirm 
Jeffrey Helmick, Madam President. He has the support of his colleagues and from Republicans and Democrats in my home state. Um, Madam President, one more brief story. I, um, I came to the Senate, as the presiding officer did in January of 2007. Soon after I came to the Senate, I was, uh, I was presented with the nomination of a potential federal judge, uh, now Judge Leoy, from Canton, Ohio. And Judge Leoy, then waiting, hoping to be a judge, I believe she was a, a um, common pleas judge, I, I, I don't remember for sure, uh, at the time. And she had been selected uh, by two Republican senators, Senator DeWine, who was my predecessor, and Senator Voinovich, both, neither of whom is in the Senate today. She had been selected and vetted by two Republican senators in a process not nearly as bipartisan or I don't think as vigorous as ours, or as rigorous as ours, uh, nominated by President Bush, sent to the United States Senate as the senator as a senator from Ohio, I had the opportunity, if I'd chosen, to block uh, Sarah Leoy, Ms. 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 Leoy's appointment. Um, so the chairman of the Judiciary Committee, controlled by the Democrats, my party, um, in considering a nominee by the Republican president, sent to the Senate by two Republican senators. Uh, the na her name was presented to me. I sat down with Ms. Leoy for um, perhaps an hour interviewed her, talked to others who were familiar with her and her background, um, found her to be a woman of integrity, found her to be qualified. I immediately sent her name to Senator, Senator Leahy, the chairman of the Judiciary Committee, and I said, she has my support. I, within, I, I don't have the precise date, but within only a few weeks of my coming to the Senate and meeting, Senator, meeting future Judge uh, Leoy, uh, the United States, she came to the floor of the United States Senate and was selected. Contrast that with what's happened today with dozens and dozens of judges. Um, I plea with my colleagues to, 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 nom to confirm a qualified, smart man with great integrity from Toledo, Ohio, who has been vetted by both parties, who has waited long enough, uh, and more importantly, the, the people of the Northern District where a judicial emergency has been declared uh, deserve this nomination to be confirmed so that he can begin to serve the people of the, of the Northern District in the Western area of the Northern District of, of the uh, Federal District Court in Ohio.